What's good guys, Nolan Souls back with another video and today I am with Liam and Liam's with me and we're going to do our top 5 sneakers. So we're going to start off by doing Lewis's sneakers aka Northern Souls. Mine are very varied and some of them have stories behind them so I'll give a quick rundown of the story and we'll get on with the first pair. So straight away, odd box, uh, Reebok. Um, you, if you're watching this on my channel, then you've probably already seen these. But you will have known that I've been, I was looking for these for three years. And these are the Reebok X Shoe Gallery in, over in Miami and this is the Flamingos at War. Um, I have worn them, they are a little bit battered, but that's in my top five. I don't know where I'll put it right now, once I've gone through my other four, but Flamingos at War are the first ones. Are they yeah. suede? Yes. Suede. Is that suede as well? Yeah. It's all suede and then the bottoms. And then the details that, on right? the inside, it's the shoe gallery. Yeah, so pretty sweet. They come with like three, uh, three pairs of laces for the camos, it's all the shades browns and green. So that's my first pair. Um, the next pair is going to Nike. And these are a US exclusive. Um, a lot of people ask about these because people rarely see them and they quite have some quite cool features. So straight away the Hyperfuse. Uh, the midsection is 3M and glow in the dark, but there was a US, uh, US exclusive. Yeah. But they're pretty clean and these are my highest rated Air Max 90s I have. I don't know if you've seen these. Now when did you get these? Uh, they were released in 2012, but I think I bought them in 2014. Um, I'm quite lucky with them because the guy, I found them on Collect and they were on sale for like nine weeks and I just messaged him to just to see if he still had them and he did and I got my steal of £100. So It's lucky when that happens, you don't think you get yeah, hit on the like this. The only one side, <laughs> downside he, what he didn't have was the original laces which were the same as the, the speckles on the mid. Um, but it's a pair of shoe laces. Yeah. I'm sure they'll come up at some point. That's my second. And it is quite special, so as you can see it's a nightclub box, but again, Air Max 90s, and they are the patch pack. Jeez. So, funny thing is, I've heard a few stories about these. Um, I've tried to keep them as clean as possible, and if you guys don't know, I am tatted with a, an infrared 90 on my arm. Um, but the best story I've had about these is someone calling them fake and then, I don't know who it was but it was in Offspring Manchester. The guy rarely thought it had a fake pair of Air Max 90s on it until he actually seen they were the patch pack. Um, but straight from Nightclub, um, obviously used the pulse code on these when they were about 20% off retail. So it's the infrared, it's clean colourway and they are really nice for a Hyperfuse 90. There we go. I and mean, then guess you stick these stickers onto the back of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, so you can mix and match, just wear one. So we've got even the original retro Nike yeah. box patch in there. Next up, we're going to the two last collabs that I've got. And straight away you can see it's the Supreme Jordans. Um, I love the box in these. Uh, again, the story behind these, I was really lucky um, with these. I think I paid a pretty decent price. I have upgraded them with some off-white shoelace. shoelace. Um, <laughs> But really clean, this is, I think, is the best colourway out of the three, the whites, blacks, but these are the cleanest. Um, the story behind these was, I was on scrolling through Instagram, seeing someone's sneaker um, reel or wheel, no matter what you call it, um, and I direct messaged them and said, are them Supremes UK7? And they went, yes, and I went, how much do you want for them? And they said 200, and this was last year. So I think the resale's gone up of them, but, for 200 pound next day shipped, I wasn't complaining, and they've still got the original receipts from Supreme, and they are clean. Uh, they do sit on my YouTube display, so it's pretty cool. What uh, original laces did they come with this? They're just black. Just plain black. But I just thought I'd change it for the. Look, what year did they release? What? 14, not 15. I think. Yeah, it's clean them though. They're not sweat. This way? No, it's just a. Uh, like material. Yeah. Sit on there. Well, that's the second to last. I'll probably rate them in my top three. Um, then my Air Max Comforts. The last pair, I can't wear these anymore just because the midsole has it's prepped, it's just crumbled. Um, I did pull them out a couple of days ago while we had snow, but this is the second oldest pair in my collection. Uh, these are the Nike X 
Atmos, um, which is the obviously the Japanese shop. Um, these are the year 2006, and if you do keep up to date, they are re-releasing next year. And I don't know if we're, we'll just show this camera over here. You can see I can push the midsole in Jeez, because yes. they've, they've, they've aged that much that they've just crumbled. But they are my top shoe, and it was bought for me from my partner for my birthday this year. And these are my absolute favourites, and these will be staying in my collection for as long as I have my collection. But yeah, that is my top five, but this is definitely my top one. To be honest, I'm not I'm not really... Because Lewis is like a proper sneakerhead. To be honest, I would... This is something I actually wear. They're pretty like... It's too much, a lot of colours, aren't it? Yeah. Well, how did you uh, mess up the thing? It's just wet. It's just it's 11 years old. Oh, are they? Yeah. When did you get these up? I got them this year, but the, the original Jeez. release date inside the shoe is 2006. Is it? Yeah. Man, they're so beat up, aren't they? Yeah, the, they, these were bought from Japan, so they have been across the world to get to my collection. No original so, box, and that's why they're sitting in... So you bought the these from Eagles. Japan? Yeah. Oh, no. How did you get in contact with them? I'm just... That's Leone. Found him online. Um, she did a legit check-in. One of the... She went through a couple of my friends just to have a <laughs> legit check-in some of the groups. That's but funny, that. That's worth that, though. They are one of the cleanest pairs of nighters and every time when they have worn them people ask like how did you get them but it's all luck. Uh, do another story behind these was this is a second part second pair I had in two days. Um, my partner actually bought a UK eight and a half and they didn't obviously I'm a UK seven so they didn't fit. Luckily there was a pair that went up for sale is a UK seven. I sold my UK eight, eight and a halfs and got these. So I had two pairs in less than 24 hours. <laughs> so it's pretty clean, especially when my size doesn't come up that often. But they won't be leaving me now, so they'll they'll fade away and crumble as much as they want until I soul swap them and can wear them whenever. But that is my top pair. So shall we move on to yours? So no. Mine's a bit different, obviously Lewis's is more sneaker culture, mine is just a, uh, just a bit hype beast, <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> we'll start off, this is probably my favourite pair, now you guys probably know, you guys probably know what these are, these are the Turtle Dove um, V1 Yeezy 350s. Now I got these about six months ago now, and basically I was just going through town and they are very beat. They were not this beat when I got them. Yeah. But I was just going through town. I just wanted to buy one of my grails. And I had the funds at the time, but I was like, I don't know how much I want to spend. Went on Facebook. First thing that popped up on Yeezy Talk Worldwide was these. And I saw them and I was like, oh, like 900 quid. I'll message a kid. And I was like, how much for shipping than that? And he was like, I'm in Manchester. I was like, oh, this is just like fate. This. I've just got to do it. I actually met the kid, paid him through PayPal, etc. So I'm safe. And what I didn't realise when I was buying them is that the box is actually signed as well, which has a signed box obviously by Kanye. And inside is what he got from the when he picked them up. So I've got the, the Adidas Boost um, wristband that you get, and then all the receipts as well, which are pretty ruined as well. This is when Yeezy's 150, which is like a myth <laughs> now. Now they've gone up to 170, but. That's definitely my favourite pair. Uh, these were bought from Adidas UK in London. That's when Kanye went to actually went to the store. I don't know if you remember yeah, that. But... I do remember seeing all the posts and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So, that's, so that's my first favourite pair. Now I'll move on to something else. So, I'll give you this. So, you guys might know what these are, might not. So, these are just the Night Fly Knits. But what's so special about these ones is Jerry Lorenzo wore these ones. And the day he wore them, they were sold out everywhere. Now, what happened with these ones is about a week and a half ago, I was in town. I wasn't really planning on spending, but I walked into size and they were just sat on a shelf. And I was like, I just went in and I double checked. I knew they were, but I just wanted to double check. I was like, are these the ones that Jerry wore? And he was like, yeah, they are. So I said to him, what size have you got? And he said, we've got a seven and that's it. Now, bearing in mind, I'm like a nine. I was like, oh, mate, I was like, just, just let me try one. Okay. So I tried them on. And without the insole, they're really like comfortable. Say, I where they're insole without the well. insole, they are comfortable. So. I am wearing a shoe that is too small for me, but it's possibly one of my favourite shoes. Like they're, they're really comfy. I mean, I think they were 100, maybe 95, 90, 100, something like that. But they are like a different type of shoe than what I'd usually wear, like a Yeezy or a boot. Like obviously they're like a running shoe, but they're so clean. With a pair of jeans, it looks sweet, so. That is my second favourite pair. These aren't necessarily in order, but it is my second favourite pair. 
So now my next favourite pair are these um, triple black 750s, which are again a nine and a half. So I do have to put an extra insole in these. It's gonna say these look. So pleased. with these ones, uh, they actually cost me quite a bit. Now what happened was I was obviously worked at McDonald's at the time and I got a pair of breads off Adidas. So I got them, they arrived, brand new, took them to Liverpool, didn't shoot in them, just did a quick photo holding them. And then I really wanted, these are one of my grails, these are my, my 350 turtle doves are one of my grails, two of my grails, sorry. So I got them and I was sat in McDonald's on my lunch on the Thursday and I found a pair of breads on Depop. I found these on Depop, sorry, and I messaged the guy and I was like, would you do a trade for these? For these breads, for these 750s, it was like obviously not straight and I thought I'd cash. I asked how much and he said 300 And they were DS, like they were brand new, like they're still pretty brand new. When he said DS breads for 300 that's estimated about 800 to a grand, like when you work it out. So it was kind of hard, it was like, do I do it, don't I do it? So I went home, worked it out and... The next day, I went on my lunch again, and I met the kid. Watched back into McDonald's with this massive box, and like, what's in there? I was like, oh, it's just like a grand's worth of like a shoe. And it was like, at the end of the day, at McDonald's, that's like six months' salary for me. And it was just ridiculous. Like, this was my first ever proper shoe that I got, my Grail. And do you know, what? I've never looked back. I've got the box and everything. The box is now damaged with the side split and everything like that. But it is my favourite shoe. Um, definitely my all-day favourite shoe. I've got the grey ones as well. But I was trying to sell them, but now I'm unsure. But these are definitely my favourite shoe of all time. Quick story about the boxes as well for 750s. I won the Instagram raffle for Offspring with for the grey 750s, not the originals, the second pair of the gum soles. And I actually got a £30 refund from Offspring, so I actually paid on the retail for the grey gum 750s, which is pretty, pretty cool. What right, was that? What? The box is just absolutely battered. They, I could just lift it up in four sides, like it just Jeez. come out of the factory, and they refunded me thirty pounds. So I was like, sweet, under retail. Jeez, but right. so now I'll come on to something different. Now, do you know what these are? Without no. looking inside, without looking at yeah. any of the things. I didn't know what they were. Do you not at all. No. So it's represent. Yeah, I just over them so looking so at the back. Yeah, so I didn't know those. Yeah. Obviously, representative. Their new collection. They've obviously. The quality and the design, everything's done really well, everything's absolutely smashed it. So, when these released, um, I do know one of the lads that works for Represent, so he did manage to get me them. But they did sell out online in, I can't remember, I think it was 24 hours, maybe less. Um, but I did really like them, but to be honest, I much prefer these rather than Yeezy boots. The only thing that I don't like is my foot's really wide, so it just blisters my foot. They I don't wear really plasters, much. but they don't necessarily stretch because of the material and the sole is pretty solid, so it's a bit hard. It's a bit like crap, these are really hard to wear. It's but an issue for sure. Yeah, they are the re re zips, so they are really good zippers. Sometimes you get stuck, but that's like all zippers. Um, but to be honest, you can wear these with joggers, jeans. Represent do styling with shorts, but you've got to have the right figure. Like I can't wear boots with shorts. <laughs> I like that legs are skinny. That. Um, but as you've just seen Lewis do there, they actually, the zip comes all the way down and then you've got the pull tab, <laughs> there goes the zip, and you can like, do fit any 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 kind of foot, like you've got both, and it does say alpha high just there as well, as you can see. So to be honest, these are one of my favourite boots, um, other than my beige Yeezy boot season freeze. I thought I just had to fit, that's put me on the spot. <laughs> but yeah, other than them, these are probably one of my favourites. Uh, the reason I didn't put them using in the video is because I've already got two pairs of Yeezy, so I didn't just want it to be all Yeezy. But as I said, these are probably one of my favourite boots and one of my favourite shoes as well. So we'll move on to my next shoe, which is... I like this pair. Which is um, one that you guys will, must know. Um, I'll give you that one. Yeah, so as you guys can already see, the, this tag doesn't is like this because it's not tied up properly, but this is the Air Max 97 Off-White collaboration, which this actual pair, when they first released, these were not released in the first batch, um, but then when they were re-released a couple of months, I think it was, I don't know how long ago now it was, like three um, weeks ago, two weeks four ago? Four weeks. I don't know, something like that, but I actually won the raffle for Offspring, which I was really happy with, I was like, that's sweet, so they were 170 I think, went down to London, um, did a quick, did a, stayed the night, did a shoot whilst I was there, but these are probably one of my favourite pairs of shoes that I own. Apart from, well, to be honest, my favourite pair is probably the Presto Off-Whites or the Air Max 90s. But, they are a sick shoe. But, 
I do love the details on this. It's got like a, it's like a waterproof. Um, yeah, it's the hyperfuse. It, um, yeah, it's a waterproof. Thing. The only problem with that is it doesn't clean easy. So these are actually really beat. Like these are actually really yeah, beat. Yeah, seen a few marks on them. But uh, and the sole. But the thing is, get shoes to wear. So. Um, rock and then obviously stock. rock don't stop exactly. And then you've obviously got the shoelace um, shoelaces. I do get a different pair from get an orange pair yeah, as well. Do. Did you not get a green pair as well? I think so. Yeah. And yeah. I have just um, pulled that off, which is supposed to be stuck down. <laughs> so I've just broke the shoe already. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> forget that. But um, yeah, as I said, these are probably the, the shoe of 2017 for me. Um, we'll see inside as the 10. Well, I think the collaborations, the, the collaboration of 2017, not the actual shoe, I, I do prefer the Air Max 90, really. Yeah. All the blazers are really clean as well, don't get me wrong. Um, but if you guys were looking, if you guys, not about, not that it's all about resale, but first time round, resale was really high. And once they re released, it was just crying, it was going down and down. The Air Jordan 1s are still really high. They're really, still really high, but the, I know the 90s are about four to five hundred. Yeah, these so, are. Yeah. So. so they were obviously these have only just released once. They're not released twice, but they're re-releasing everywhere. Shoes at the minute, even the Yeezy blue tints. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded, but it'll be around this time. Obviously, they were just released and resales just flopped. It's same as the um, what was the other ones that released just before this? The the zebra? No, not the yellow. Oh, the frozen yellows. The frozen yellows. That was it. They went down. Um, were, they, were they the ones before the blue tints? Yeah. Yeah, they were. So they're the ones that dropped quite low as well. Oh, so. wait, no. No, they weren't, were they? No, so it was fro frozen. Yeah, the last couple of months, it would have been frozen. The greys, then yeah, the, the grey twos. Yeah, the blue go 2.0. Oh, yeah, that's the one then that flopped. The tints, I yeah. think the yellows are really rare, but the blue tints, um, the grey 2.0 blue goes are really high, so that's yeah. probably one of the reasons. But, as I said, this is probably one of the shoes of the year, so. I really like the off the off white X Nike, but the only pair I would would buy if I was to pay resale would be the nineties, and that's just because I've got around twenty pairs of Air Max nineties, so yeah, they just a lot of them sit around. But it is a clean collaboration, and it, I would agree with Liam there, in, in it being the um, collaboration of the year for mm. the sneaker industry. So before before we finish, we'll have one more thing. You have to pick one shoe out there that's your favourite. Straight up, all day, all day. Art Moss Nikes. How, how, how come them over everything else? For the age of them, the they're, they're different. Um, the, you won't see many of these around, and it, hmm. I don't know anyone else in Manchester who's got a pair. Yeah, and then obviously mine. As I said, mine is the. So, there we go, over in the word. Mine's that one. So it's the triple black seven fifty. So in the comments, make sure you let us know which one you prefer. Um, I don't know what it's going to be, it's quite hard. I don't know if we're going to have a lot of sneakerheads or a lot of hype beasts watching yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, um, the hype beasts going to say this, the sneakerheads are going to say that. So we'll see. We'll see. Good to see what different people we have on each of our channels as well. Yeah, yeah. And also, let us know on Instagram, drop us a DM on Instagram what you think. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like and comment. Also, let us know, as I said in the comments, what your favourite shoe is out of all of them and out of the two we just shown. I will leave Lewis's links in the description, including all of his Instagram accounts, his YouTube, etc. Because if you didn't know, he doesn't just run his Instagram, he runs several, so we're both working extremely hard. But as I said, leave a like and comment, subscribe if you haven't already, see how quickly we can hit 200 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.